Throughout his career, Revilius was fascinated by light, the effects of light. His favourite time of day as an artist was the very, very early morning. He would get up before dawn, preferably in the winter, and watch the sun rise and capture that cool, luminous quality of the light in early morning. He painted a number of beautiful paintings before the war, such as the Bell Toot Lighthouse, which was painted from inside the lantern of a disused lighthouse and has the rays of the sun bursting into the light. He visited Rye and in his painting Rye Harbour approached a kind of impressionist quality. He was a big fan of the French painter Seurat and in Rye Harbour we get a definite sense of the French artist, the stippling, the fascination with light effects. Revilius, like most of the other artists who took on the role, as a war artist, he continued in the same vein. He took advantage of an early morning expedition to Whitstable Sands in Kent, where a magnetic mine had washed up on the beach. And he painted the specialists as they went off to defuse the mine, a dangerous and difficult job. And in the painting, one can see the three figures and then the mine in the distance. The three men were all decorated for their bravery in carrying out the work. But for Revilius, one suspects that the true excitement of the moment lay in that wonderful dawn light over the water. We see the striations of the light, the sun, the burning gold sun on the horizon. And then over the sky, to give it a sort of hazy quality, this very kind of relaxed crisscross of pencil lines. This was a new kind of visual language almost, a kind of graphic version of Impressionism. Very cool, very much based on line, and very evocative of a particular historical moment in the war. One can date this exact moment and it's evoked here with great clarity and beauty.